While we would never knowingly risk our health, we may not realize when we come into contact with harmful chemicals. Our five senses can't detect contaminants like carbon monoxide gas in the air, lead in the water, or chemicals in the products we use each day. Fortunately, scientists have developed a technique called biomonitoring that can help public health professionals and researchers better understand people's exposure to chemicals in the environment. Biomonitoring allows expert laboratory scientists to measure chemicals and their breakdown products in human samples like blood and urine. Scientists can measure many chemicals like toxic metals, pesticides, and those found in everyday products. Public health professionals from state and local health departments carefully plan studies using biomonitoring. They identify the people to participate in the study to best answer questions about people's exposures, whether among all Americans or in a community. Study planners collect samples of urine and blood from participants and send them to state, local, or federal laboratories who test them for certain chemicals. Researchers from colleges and universities may also conduct biomonitoring studies. Laboratory scientists work hard every day to develop new ways to measure chemicals. Public health professionals use the results from the lab to help identify people's exposures, track them over time, and if necessary, develop strategies to reduce them. Biomonitoring tells public health professionals if a specific chemical is present in the body, and if so, how much there is at the time of testing. This can help them compare people's levels to those in other groups, including national averages. For some chemicals like mercury, we know what levels are harmful. For others, scientists are still studying them and do not yet know how exposure affects people's health. Without biomonitoring, we had to estimate what people were exposed to by measuring chemicals in soil and water. Now, with biomonitoring, we can actually measure how much of a chemical is in the person's body. For some chemicals, like arsenic, we know how it might impact people's health. For others, like perfluoroalkyl substances or PFAS, we don't yet know the health implications. Biomonitoring guides us to use our resources and provide interventions in a way that will best help expose people and communities. Biomonitoring does not always tell public health professionals whether people's exposure to chemicals caused or will cause illness but it can help inform public health actions to reduce or stop exposure to chemicals and determine if those actions are successful. Biomonitoring studies have influenced national policies to remove lead from gasoline and modify smoking laws in public places, reducing exposures for most Americans. It's an ever-growing field that continues to prove its worth, keeping people safe from harms that may exist in the very things that we need most in order to live, air, water, food, and our homes. To learn more about biomonitoring, visit APHL.org. <laughs>